Hey everyone, how are you doing today? I'd like to welcome you to the home of Scale Forge Manufacturing on YouTube. Um, you might recognize me. My name is Mike. I am CEO and owner of Scale Forge Manufacturing. Um, I also float around a little bit doing other things on YouTube. Uh, I have a little review channel. Um, but this is the launch of uh, this channel. We've put a few, me and my partner Brooklyn, we put a few um, videos of some time lapses of our 3D prints and uh, things such as that. But we're expanding. We're going into full-on manufacture. Uh, we've got ourselves a really nifty device right here. We've got a Elegoo Fecta. It's a laser engraver, 20 watt laser engraver, and uh, we're going to be experimenting with this an awful lot. And uh, today we're going to try to engrave on slate. We're going to try to engrave on a coaster. Um, the coaster has had a previous um, uh, decal on it, so there's a little bit of shadowing from where the previous decal was. Um, but we're going to go ahead and try to engrave on it anyway and see what we can do with it. Um, I have previously engraved this. That turned out really, really nicely. Um, I'm really interested to see what kind of other materials will uh will work out so we're gonna try a piece of slate today and uh hope you guys enjoy this little video and i hope you stick with us um you know as we continue to make content for this channel um we have an awful lot coming we have a lot planned um as always every other channel is going to mention it ours is too if you could like comment subscribe help us grow help us build our foundations and uh, get our footing here and we really appreciate it guys so I hope you enjoy what we have for you today. Thanks. Go ahead. Fire it up, number two. Is it firing? Yes, I guess it is. All right, guys, so this was our first time trying to engrave on slate, and we did have a bit of trouble on the first run. As you see here, we weren't getting much of an engraving on the first pass. So what we wound up doing is I went ahead and I swapped the material out, and I did a test print on a piece of wood that I have here on the back side of my earlier review sesh coaster, wooden coaster that I checked out and we did a test print on that and then I swapped the material back to slate and after a little bit of adjustment I think we got it we got it down guys uh, just a few minutes of fiddling with it and I think we've got it so what it comes down to guys with these machines it's a little bit different than 3d printing uh, 3d printing I'm worried a lot about temperature uh, you know bed temperature and all that sort of stuff and with these machines it comes down to being able to measure time and power so what we had to do here is we had to just adjust our time uh, you know run it a little bit slower and we had to increase our power a little bit just to you know get through the slate um, but I think we're probably gonna have to do that with the uh, each material as we go forward. Really interesting process though guys. Alright guys so here we are back. Um, starting out on the slate like you, like you saw we had a little bit of an issue. Took a, it took us a little bit to dial that in. Uh, you can see here on this this piece right here you see a bit of an image where we did a low power test test print of uh, the review sesh logo on the reverse side we got it a little bit a little bit nicer but I went ahead and ran that on that side and what we wound up with the slate is uh, really nice uh, could have done to be a little better centered we're still working on positioning and all that but I think this turned out really nice guys what do you think it's a little dragonfly my mother mentioned that she likes dragonflies 
and if you look closely, you can kind of see the the ghost image, the shadow image from the previous decal that was on that. But I think that turned out really nice, and uh, I'm looking forward to getting more of these uh, these slate coasters, and I'm going to be doing an awful lot with these, I think. Um, it didn't take an awful lot of time to do that one. Uh, the more fill, infill, the more lines, the longer it's going to take, I expect. But um, this was really cool for a first time engraving on slate. I'm extremely satisfied with the Elegufecta. And uh, we're going to be able to put it to a lot of great use. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this little, little thing we got going on here. This little presentation. A uh, little demo. Um, really enjoying it so far uh stick with us you're gonna be seeing a lot coming from the elegu facta we've we've got a lot of things planned for it so um till i see you next time guys I want you guys to take care of yourselves and stay lifted and stay blessed peace